Hi guys. So welcome to another video of the Love Bubble 450 question series. So we have completed arrays and matrix. So we have solved around 30 problems, I guess. And uh, there are 11 videos already uploaded in the playlist. If you have not watched them, I will give the link of the playlist in the description. And also this questions link, this, uh, she this sheet will also be available in the description box. So today we have to start with strings. And as you can see strings, there are a lot of, lot of questions actually. I think more than 30 problems are there. So easily around six to seven videos it will take because I don't want to make a video too long. Otherwise you will not watch it. And even I will uh, be a little bored. So actually the first few problems are quite simple. So I will quickly brush through them in this video. And maybe in the next video we will be solving uh, real uh, good questions. So in this video, first problem is reverse a string. Now reverse a string is same as reverse an array. Okay, if you have not watched that video, you can watch it. It's the first video wherein I have done the first question. So reversing a string is also simple only. If you are very new to pro programming, maybe then only you'll have some problem. Otherwise it is very simple. You can also use inbuilt function, but not in the interviews. So in the interviews, you have to tell them that you are going to swap the first and last character, second and second last, third and third last, like that you're going to, you have to tell them because interviewers don't know this STL and all. They don't know that there is a reverse function in C++. And I have also told you many times in one of my internship tests, the interviewer didn't even know the C++ language only. So be careful. Don't assume that everybody knows STL. Actually, even if they know, they don't want you to use it. They want you to, you know, actually know how to do it. Like how this reverse function is working. Like some, like, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. So in competitive programming and all, you can use this to save your time. Of course you will use this only. So otherwise this question is very simple. Next problem is check whether a string is a palindrome or not. Now, I don't know why it's okay. So checking if a string is a palindrome, this is also simple. You can use the reverse function only. How to use the reverse function? If suppose you had to use the reverse function, then maybe you could do something like this. Reverse s1 dot begin s1 dot end. And if s equal to equal to s1, then return one. Otherwise you return zero. So you can do this only. Otherwise, how to do this problem? The other way to do this problem is, let us take variable i and let n be equal to s dot length. And let us run a loop from i equal to zero to i less than n by two. And we'll say if s of i is not equal to s of n minus i minus one, then return zero. Otherwise return one. So this is how you check if a string is a palindrome or not without using any inbuilt function or STL or whatever. And if we run the program, should be correct only. So it is correct. So this is palindrome checking and palindrome checking this function will come handy in other big, big problems and other hard questions like keep this function. Uh, you know, if you are doing some contest and all keep this function ready, like many programmers just keep this function ready and pass the string to this function to check if it's palindrome don't need to write it again and again. But in an interview, of course, you have to explain to them. So this is how you do it. Basically, you're checking the extreme characters, the first character, the last character, second, second, last, third, third, last, like that. That's all you're doing. So that was the second. Third one, find duplicate, print all the duplicates. So this is a simple problem on hashing. 
you need to find the frequency of all the characters and if frequency of a character is greater than one you have to print that character as well as the count for example in this string test string whatever they are saying s count is 2 t count is 3 so it will take o of n time and uh, that's all it's a simple problem on hashing only you can do it it will not be so difficult so they have told some method so there is no uh, you know no specific way of outputting i suppose so this just as just think that this is a hashing problem and uh, i don't think uh, they'll ask you in interview and all this kind of easy problems so let us go to next one why strings are immutable in java so if you want to know the complete answer as i have not used java and i don't know java so well even i have to learn it but i found this blog post java revisited blog post very informative lot of things are given especially for people who really want to know the exact stuff you can check this blog post i will put the link in the description and uh, i don't know why some advertisement is running here so there are many reasons why strings are Im immutable means you cannot modify them you cannot change it so there are lot of reasons listed you can check this out so let us see the next problem write a code to check if strings are rotation of each other okay so how to do this problem rotation of each other like given two strings s1 and s2 we have to say whether s2 is a rotation of s1 so we can use the find function here like uh, what we have to do is if we suppose accept two strings as input then let us make a string t which is equal to s1 plus s2 and if uh, t dot find s2 not equal to that means if s2 is present in this string then we will print yes otherwise we'll print no so this problem you have to concatenate both the strings make it a larger string and then check if s2 is present or not so the time complexity will be o of n find function takes o of n time so this is how you do this problem find uh, you know program to check if strings are rotation of each other or not it's a simple problem i will say you only read it once you will understand nothing much so i have used the find function in strings remember there are lot of stl functions which will come handy like in vectors we have lot of stl na even in strings there are lot of stl functions so you can use them in the online coding rounds and all that there only they will come in most handy in almost most cases and of course in competitive competitions and all like on code chef code forces so this video i think that's all next video we will solve more better problems and if you like my work please hit the like button share the video with your friends it will help them a lot i feel just don't you know go away please share it and subscribe to my channel it will help me grow and it will help me be motivated and thank you for watching this bye take care